In this video I'll be comparing the ASUS ROG Zafiris M16 with the Lenovo Legion 7. The specs mentioned in this video for each computer is the maximum specs you can get on each computer. After watching this video you should know which computer is the right computer for you. Timestamps and links to everything that I talk about in this video will be in the description. So if you see something that sparks your interest then feel free to check it out. Let's start out the video by comparing the CPUs. The M16 is rocking the Intel Core i9 11th Gen 4 CPU while the Legion 7 is rocking the AMD Ryzen 9 5th Gen 4 CPU. At the time I'm recording this, the latest Intel processor is at 12th generation and the latest AMD processor is at 5th generation. In terms of the graphics card, the M16 is running the NVIDIA RTX 3060 while the Legion 7 is running the NVIDIA RTX 3080. In this case, the 3080 is the better graphics card. The M16 has a memory of 16GB and the Legion 7 have a memory of 32GB. The more memory, the more tasks the laptop will be able to handle at once. In this case, the Legion 7 has more memory than the M16. So the Legion 7 will be able to handle a lot of tasks compared to what the M16 can handle. For storage, both laptops have 1TB of SSD. SSD is the way to go these days if you want your application to launch in seconds. If you currently have a hard drive in your laptop or computer, I would definitely recommend that you replace it with a SSD if you want a faster computer without having to spend a lot of money on replacing your whole computer. Both laptops have a 16 inch display with 165 Hz refresh rate. Having a refresh rate of 165 Hz is really good especially when you're playing games. For ports, the M16 has a Thunderbolt 4 port, a USB Type-C, two USB Type-A, a micro SD reader, a HDMI, a headphone jack and an Ethernet port. The Legion 7 has three USB Type-C, a e-shutter button, three USB Type-A, a HDMI and an Ethernet port. The M16 has more ports than the Legion 7 but one thing that I like about the Legion 7 is that it has an e-shutter button and that you'll be able to turn off your camera manually. And for the M16, what I like about the M16 it has an SD card reader that comes in really handy, especially if you're a content creator. Both laptops come with Windows 10 Home installed, but you can always install Windows 11 Pro if you want. The M16 has a longer battery life than the Legion 7. The M16 has a battery life of 6 hours and 22 minutes, while the Legion 7 has a battery life of 4 hours and 39 minutes. The battery life may vary based on what you are doing with your laptop. For weight, the M16 is lighter than the Legion 7. For me personally, I own the M16 and even though it's a 16 inch laptop, it doesn't look as big as the Legion 7. While I'm at school, people always say that my laptop look really minimal. The Legion 7 weighs 5.4 pounds and the M16 weighs 4.1 pounds. The M16 starts at $1,499 and goes up to almost $2,000 and the Legion 7 starts at $1,439 and goes up to around $2,500. Here are the benchmarks. Inside Geekbench 5, where the highest score is the better score, the M16 has a score of 1,636 in single core and 8,495 in multi core. The Legion 7 has a single core score of 1542 and a multi core score of 8504. In GTA 5, at a very high setting, the Legion 7 outperforms the M16 with a score of 121 frames per second. In GTA 5, the M16 has a score of 86 frames per second at very high settings. This is not surprising because the Legion 7 has a better GPU than the M16. The Legion 7 also outperforms the M16 in Far Cry and Red Dead Redemption. In terms of productivity, the M16 can export 4K footage in 7 minutes and 58 seconds. The Legion 7 export 4K footage faster but not by much. It export 4K footage in 6 minutes and 4 seconds. So to conclude everything, the Legion 7 has a really nice design with a cool RGB lighting. The performance on the Legion 7 is excellent and the speaker sounds really nice. 
The two downsides to this computer is that many users say that the laptop run hot and loud and the webcam tends to be pixelated. The M16 is very compact. It has a really nice resolution which can be really bright so you don't have to worry about being able to see what's on the screen. The speakers on the M16 sounds really good for a laptop speaker. However, many people find this laptop to be pricey for what you get and it's not consistent in performance while gaming. For me personally, the only issue that I have with the M16 so far is that the fan noise is really loud, but this only happened to me once. So with all those specs and numbers that I just give out, you guys should have an idea which laptop is for you, whether it be the Legion 7 or the M16. Let me know in the comment section, which one do you think is for you? That's it for this video guys. If you have any questions or concerns, feel free to comment it down below. And if you want to find out more about the problem that I have with my M16, then check this video out.